Chapter 5, Section 2, The Implant Library. The Implant Library is located at the top of the menu bar of the Easy 3 d software. Left-clicking on the icon will present a list of various options, including placing an implant from our implant library itself, which will include various manufacturers and model types. The implant library of the Easy 3 d software can be customizable to include any combination of 37 different manufacturers. To identify and browse a specific manufacturer, either left-click once on that manufacturer or by left-clicking on the plus sign to the left of that will then open up all of the different model types associated with that brand. To scroll down through the various model types, simply left-click on the scroll bar on the right-hand side left click on the desired model type and then from there choose the implant system you plan to use. Left click on it once, left click insert and then place the implant either perhaps in the sectional view here, panorama view or even the 3D view in the lower right hand corner. To insert multiple implants of the same size left click on the implant icon navigate down to the second option that says insert multiple implants and from the library we can then choose the manufacturer. In this case here we'll continue working with BioHorizons. Left click on the plus sign next to that to expand our various model types. Choose the model type and then the size from our list below. Click on insert and then we can place multiple implants within our scan. Left click here, left click again, left click again, and so forth. If we wish to manage the implants that have already been placed, left click on the icon that says implant, navigate down and then left click on implant manager. From here we can then see all of the various implants that we've placed so far. If there's an implant that you wish to change or remove, simply highlight it, left click on remove, and that implant will then be removed from our scan. To hide an implant, simply left click from the list, left click on hide. To hide in case you want to place multiple implants in the same site. To show them again, left click on the same implant again and then left click on show. To see the properties of a specific implant, simply left click on it left click on properties and then from here identify the company name, product line, model name as well as the size, length, and apical diameter. You can also add an abutment as well by left clicking on the add abutment icon, choose your abutment style, specify a custom size and then left click on OK at the bottom. This will then place our abutment on top of our virtual implant. You can also manually add implants to your implant library by left clicking on the implant icon, navigating down and left clicking on the implant library option. From here you can either add to an existing company or in this case we'll create a whole new company along with a product line and model name. Navigate to the bottom of the window and left click on new. From here we can then specify the name of our company. specify our product line and then specify our model name. Below type in the diameter of the occlusal end of our implant in millimeters, type in our length and then type in our apical diameter. Specify our manufacturer color, select OK Proofread the information is correct and then left click on OK to add it to your library. Once it's added we can add additional manufacturer or model types to this manufacturer by simply left clicking on the manufacturer, left click on new and then simply type in the model name and size of your next implant. This would be a good time to pause the video to then open up the Easy 3D software and navigate through the various implant library options. 